Hello Travelers! With the arrival of Genshin Impact 4.0 comes a new mechanic that's been introduced into the game. The Arc or Arch. I believe it's pronounced Arch. Anyway, it's spelled A-R-K-H-E. Arch consists of two opposing energies, Usha and Numa. If you guys didn't notice this, your Fontaine characters actually have an Arch section in one of their talents. This is currently found in three characters, the Traveler, Linny, and Lynette with Linny and the Traveler being Numa aligned and Lynette being Usha aligned. Usha and Numa blocks can also be found in the overworld, used to create an annihilation reaction. Arch attacks can trigger special interactions to stun certain enemies and solve certain puzzles in the environment. Fontaine characters are represented with the Arch design on their vision. You can see it when you swap the characters, there's a little bit of either a yellow light or dark bluish purple light that shows up when you switch them. Also, currently, characters with arch alignment are the only characters that can do the dolphin dive swimming mechanic when you swim in Fontaine. In combat, you can see the arch colors on enemies and this opens them to a stun attack, which seems to be at the moment involves immediately destroying a type of shield. So this sort of opens up some questions in the community. Is arch something that will be used to force players into pulling new characters to stay competitive? And is this Genshin's answer to the issue of power creep? After what they've done in Sumeru with the Dendro reactions where most of the Abyss enemies are weak to certain Dendro reactions such as Quicken, Aggravate, and Hyperbloom, this seems to be the case, although you can always brute force it with older characters. Content on live service RPG games always tend to move into harder and harder content, and this seems to be Hoyoverse's way of trying to steer away against power creep. With this new mechanic, they can actually make new Fontaine characters that serves more of a side grade instead of an upgrade to currently existing characters where they're not really stronger than the older characters, but instead on par and sometimes even weaker. But they just made the content in Fontaine in a way where these characters have the innate advantage in order to interact with the new arch mechanics. Of course, for exploration, I didn't think it's not really an issue for me because it is exploration. And as you guys can recall, in Sumeru, whenever you had to interact with something that requires a dendro element, they always had these interactable flowers where you can just acquire. Similarly, in Fontaine, we have the Usha and Numa blocks to interact for puzzle solving. In terms of combat, at the moment, if you're a free-to-play player, you have the Traveler and the Free Lynette. So technically, you have both Numa and Usha characters. So I don't know. I do think that this seems to be like an anti-power creep mechanic. I don't know where this may lead moving forward as they seem to be adding deeper or rather secondary elemental reaction levels. With the introduction of Sumeru's Dendro element, a lot of new sub-interactions has been introduced, such as Hyper Bloom and Burgeon, a subset of the Bloom reaction, and Spread and Aggravate, which are subsets of the Quicken reaction basically requiring two reactions to fully use. So it'll be interesting to see how the new arch mechanics are implemented in characters moving forward. Are we getting new Animo subset interactions or new Geo interactions? I don't know. So I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. That's all for me today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.